Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Where do you stand? That's the question for today. We have four speakers from different perspectives to talk about this subject. Uh, we have the researcher, the editor, the PhD, and the institution. Open access is free, immediate, online availability of research articles with full reuse rights. The journals aren't producing the material. The journals don't employ the people who write the papers. They don't even employ the people who review the papers. My proposition is that we should loosen the reputation effects connected with high-impact journals during that transition towards open access publishing. The role played by publishers in the career paths of researchers must be seriously diminished. And I agree with the statement made before that the career path of young uh, researchers is entirely in our hands, not in the hands of the publishers. This is basically the model that we want to develop. We want to move from the initial stage of subscription-based publishing, going through a transition of five years where the APCs are paid uh, for by uh, public financial guarantees and organizations like Lingua, and then find to arrive at the final stage where you get, uh, where you get APC-based publishing by uh, a consortia like uh, the Open Library of the Humanities. We expected um, the PhD students to support open access from a sort of idealistic point of view. Um, but then again, at the beginning of your scientific career, also other factors like status and impact factors already mentioned by Johan play an important role. So we also uh, wondered if that uh, might be a factor influencing the choice for a journal. Uh, I voted against this uh, and not as a PhD student, since I think a PhD student should favor this proposition for selfish reasons. But because the entire system based on metrics like impact factor should be opposed and it's very bad. Open access can be realized at no additional cost, even though the commercial publishers would like us to believe otherwise. Publish an open access and be transparent about your finances so that everyone can see that the universities are paying a reasonable fee. And we're right now, right now in a system that is very sustainable for the commercial publishers, mm -hmm. very profitable, uh, but it's no longer sustainable for the universities. Who is in favor of going to an open access system as soon as possible? To conclude, we have to, uh, you might say, search in our hearts for the best way to go forward, since it's not only the publishing houses playing a role in this difficult discussion, but also the university system, the hospitals, and even the researchers themselves, from PhD students to professors, 